start to come down on us. I got to put it in overdrive, get back to the trailer. Touch mark. Here come the boys. We got some work to do today. I got some, I got an area that I got to clean out and we got some hedge trimming to do. We got to get those tall hedges right there done. Those things are monstrous. Here come the boys, here come the boys. We got to do a lot of trimming. Grass, um, you know, we're on two week mows right now, but this is really thick. This is super thick, man. It grew a lot faster than, this is definitely growing a lot faster than normal. Um, it should not be, it should not be this thick in November. Usually it's not. Um, we got some hedges right there to do. Let me take this off of there. So we got to do that. The truck should be here any second now. Sport my boy Richie Plemons hat today. Um, anyway, the truck should be here with the guys with the other guys here in a second um man this is just so freaking this is so freaking just thick some spots are shallow or some spots are low and then other parts are really thick man i don't know if it, if it stays warm it's supposed to be like 80 today and if it's warm we may mow this again next week i don't want it getting this tall it's just too much work when it gets this tall it really is i feel like it's just not worth skipping that week to mow even though we're allowed to i don't think it's worth it so i think if it's this if it's thick next week we're going to mow it because man that the weather is just way too warm this year it's not as cooled off as it normally is so it's it's never this thick um in november like this man so anyways get the guys here and we'll get mowing
Hey guys, you know, I don't want to keep beating up on the Skag. I, you know, I really do love this mower. I think, what is this? Water, this is a freaking Gatorade bottle down there? Good Lord. Come on guys. Anyways, um, I really do like this mower. It's a great mower. I love the Kohler. You know, the 35 horsepower Kohler that's on this thing is a monster. I love the seat. It rides well, it handles well, it handles curves, corners, hills, all that. The couple things that I've had an issue with Okay, I've been greasing the mess out of this deck and it's and it's still not moving, man. The deck is just, it's it's frozen again, like it's stuck again. So I've been greasing the crap out of it. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about here real quick is this throttle cable, man. And this, the, it, it, you know, okay, so you know it goes in here and it's supposed to catch that little latch, but it, it comes undone. See what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't stay as I'm mowing. Like, you can see it already go back right there. It used to stay there and then it moves back. Okay, it moves back. And it's it's not, okay, so uh, the X marks and the Hustler um, that I had like, you know, the longest over the last few years before I got rid of the X mark, um, this is happening on both of my Skags, the Skag V-Ride 1 and the Cheetah. And it's happening on both of those, but it does not happen there is no throttle um, slide back on my Hustler at all, or I never had it on my Lesco, and I had 2,800 hours on that. I never had that on my X Mark, so I don't know why. That's something that I have on the Skag, and it's both of them, man. It's the Cheetah, and it's the V-Ride 1. Both of them have this, uh, you know, this deal where it's, um, where the throttle slides back, and like you'll see me, or you, I don't know if you see me, but sometimes while I'm mowing, I have to, you know, I have to crank down on that throttle and then it'll, it'll hold, you know, for a few minutes and then, you know, then it pulls back. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of, you know, an annoying little thing. So what we're doing out here today, guys, is um, triage work. So we're doing triage. So we got a bunch of rain coming. Here's the clouds. Let me turn this around. That's the, that's the sky, even though it's here. Let me pull this down. You can see it. That's about what it is right there. Um, so we have the rain coming and whenever you have rain coming, um, we have a bunch of trimming to do, but you see that right there, those Agnes, um, those, you know, shooters that are sticking up. That's the kind of stuff that, uh, we're going to go around right now and we're going to triage this entire property. Run, Forrest, run! It's starting to come down on us. I got to put an overdrive, get back to the trailer. I only got like a camera equipment out here. Here comes the rain! Oh, he's waving at me while I'm getting soaking wet. Yeah! It's raining, it's pouring, and my equipment's getting wet. Holy crap, good thing my phone's got some waterproof to it. Dang, it's coming down out here. Holy Lord, help me Lord. Bump, aisle. I got to get back to the car. It's cold rain too, it's cold rain. Cold rain, cold rain, cold rain. Oh, it's going up my shorts. Aunt Betty, it's going up my shorts. Good thing we can go 16 miles an hour. Oh, cold rain, cold rain. Oh, water puddle, cold rain. Ah! Get me to the truck. I gotta get my equipment out of the rain. All right, guys, so I want to talk to you about triaging the property. So I know that we don't really use that term in lawn care, um, but we do it all the time. We just don't think about using that word. So what I mean by triaging the property is just really simple. Say if you're going to be shorthanded or like today, um, weather's coming in or like today where we're shorthanded and the weather's coming in. So whenever we have a scenario like that, where I know that it, we're going to be backed up because of weather or being shorthanded, um, I will triage the property as soon as I get there. So what I'll do is just drive through the entire property property, you know, it's a multi, it's a huge property. Um, it's definitely an all sun up to sundown property. So drive through it, go through every, like go look at all of the buildings. Um, and the things that I look for now, the mowing is going to get done. That really kind of is irrelevant. The mower, the guy on the mower, he's good to go. He'll get everything done where we have a breakdown and completion are hedges and the weed eating 
because there that's that's like there's so much of it there on this particular property and most of our properties but i attack this all the same so we go into a property and you know the agnuses those things grow like crazy they're not like viburnum or ligustrum where they kind of fluff out you know with a little shooter here or there these things i mean they just look like fireworks are going off and it's ridiculous and they grow really fast especially when you have them fertilized um i'm sporting the plemons what's up um especially when they're um you know especially when they're um you know fertilized like i was saying so anyways we'll drive through the entire property and what i look for is like things like those where just one can be bad around an entire building but for some reason that makes the whole building look like stanky doo doo but you could have like fluffy viburnum and ligustrums growing and you're like ah those are good you know it's kind of a consistent softness to it you know it's we can get away with that that's not an emergency today but man those agnuses man not only do they stink that just the way they grow, man, if you guys aren't familiar with them, it's just like shooter straight up in the air and it's alfalfa spikes. Um, so if you let those things get away from you for a few weeks, man, they just look ridiculous, dude. It makes you look like you're not doing your job. Everything else can look beautiful. That one Agnes, like, dude, it can really make your property look like crap. I hate those things. Um, but it's kind of good though, cause they keep you in check. So anyway, I'll drive around the property, look at every single building when we go in. Um, and then I look for, the hedges that are just got me going Ugh! like anything that makes my my back cringe those are put on the triage list okay um and that's how we handle the um trimming like i said as far as the mowing the, the mower guy's on his own you know the edger guy's got his thing um right now what we're doing is we edge um on the weeks we're not mowing so that way we have something to do you know the clients feel like they're getting we're just not showing up blowing and leaving so if we're not mowing that off week we're edging and then doing a bunch of other stuff so like i said we'll drive through look at everything that just makes me cringe that goes on the triage list um and then when it comes to the weed eating uh the weed eating what we'll do is just not worry about weed eating lake banks or any of the natural areas or any of the islands so the priority for the weed eating will be the buildings so we're because that's where people are entering their homes um, these units don't have garages in them so um, but that's just where people are entering their homes so we encapsulate um, the entire building and that is the weed eating priority now when that if that is done then i have them jump to the islands um and once the islands are done then i will have them go to the lake banks then i will have them do the natural areas so that is the order whenever we're triaging this stuff so it is buildings then islands then lake banks and then outer perimeters um, but typically if we're having to triage it then we're not going to get to all that and i already know it which is why we're triaging it so just the rain is just coming in super heavy today um, on and off and we're shorthanded so on uh, this truck today that's what it is so you know one guy's just going through all he's doing is just taking down um, any of the crazy freaking growth not touching anything that's kind of growing evenly together just leaving that alone it's not a lot but um, just leaving that alone and just grabbing all of the the stuff that just is like that when you look at it you're just like what what you know and all it is just growth over the last few weeks all of tons of rain fertilization you know what i'm saying so sometimes some of these hedges just get away from us man there's a lot um so that's what he did today um just working on popping that down looks a million times better man you don't even really notice like the ligustrum or the viburnum that need to be trimmed um you notice that when these shooters like alfalfa spikes sticking up you notice you notice that so anything you drive through and that catches your eye in the wrong way that is on the triage list so the guys are pretty much got most of the buildings done already they still have the whole back section to do that's probably going to take them at least like three more hours um i don't think they're going to get to the lake banks or the center islands today um or the outer so next week when we're not mowing they will you know go through and do everything that we couldn't get to today they will go do that next week so um that's just how we do it um when Whenever we're you know just expecting not as many guys on the truck today and you know just a lot of weather coming in I think triaging is just really important you know I I done that a lot on um, you know did that a lot you know when we just used to do a whole bunch of yards as well so it just you know not everybody's gonna notice everything but you want to concentrate on what they are going to notice because you just don't want you just don't want it to look bad man so you know 
try to figure out things when you pull up on the property. If you see weather coming in, you're shorthanded today. You know, you know you're not going to get it all done, and we know that when we go there. But sometimes I would not find myself triaging a property properly, and I just kind of jump in there. You know what I mean? I'm just like, oh crap, I should have done this or should have done that. So if I go to a property knowing that I'm already backed up or weather is coming in, um, then I triage every single property, um, and that's just really how we get through it. Um, and that's it, man. So let me, uh, I'm going to go and bounce and um, let me know what you guys think. Um, how do you do it whenever you know weather's coming in, whenever you know you're going to be shorthanded? Um, how do you handle it? Or do you already have like a set thing that you will only do? Or, you know, with us, we try to tackle a little bit of everything that we would normally do, but we triage it. You know, we just we scale it down, not do as much. That way the client's really happy. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyways, guys, uh, you know, leave me your thoughts down below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure that you do subscribe to it. Um, and, you know, we like being interactive with everybody. We have a really awesome group of people that follow this channel, watch this channel. Um, everybody's really cool with each other whenever uh, we have questions and, um, you know, comments, stuff like that. Um, all right, guys, got to roll, baby. Peace out.